Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean and today we're going to look at dates in PHP in this strange little thing called the Unix timestamp. So if I were to echo out just the function time, I'm going to be left with this weird number that has absolutely nothing to do with the date. What this is, is it's a Unix timestamp and that's nothing more than a linear number that has counted the number of seconds since January 1st of 1970. But it's a useful number because we can format this. With this being nothing more than seconds, we can use PHP to manipulate that string into what we want it to be. And I'll show you what I mean. If I use the date function, now the date function requires two parameters. The first is the format of the date, the way that we want it to look. And then the second is a source, is a time source, right? Which for now we can just use time. Okay, so if I was to run my page, it's not going to display anything because I haven't entered any data. However, I want to show the month, the day, and the year of the current time. And that's going to show June 5th, 2016 which is kind of the date, but not really. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so what I can do here is play with this just a little bit. If I wanted to use like the full year, then I could show 2016 by making this a capital Y. Uh, there are a lot of properties to go along with this. For we can do the hour and the minutes. It's going to show 205. Okay, and if you want a full list of the parameters from within uh, the date functionality, uh, you can get those from php.net's manual. I have most of them memorized, but to be honest, you won't actually use a, a great deal of these. Um, so let's have some more fun with this. We can actually do this completely backwards. Let's say we have, um, we can use the string to time function. We can basically just say, June 5th, 2016. And we can echo this out. And it's going to show the Unix timestamp of that. And this is pretty, um, pretty functional. We can say um, 5 o'clock p.m. And it's going to update that correctly. So it's essentially just turning a string of text into an actual timestamp. So that's pretty handy as well. Now there's one thing that I want to address before I let you go, and that's the fact that it was showing, let's see here, we can do echo date. Um, let's see, we do year, month, and then the day. And I wanna show you what that's doing. Okay, that's saying that this is the uh, that it's Sunday. Well, it's actually not Sunday here. It's about seven o'clock on a Saturday night. So why is it showing Sunday? And that's because this is not based on my time zone. This is based on the UTC. All right. So what I can do is I can either configure this in my php.ini file, or I can specify it on the page. And what I'll do is I'll set the time zone to my nearest uh, server. So what I can do is I can show a date default time zone set. And this is just in standard English too. So I'm going to choose America. And then my time zone is based in the Chicago. Chicago. All right. So if I do that and I refresh my page, now it's going to show that it's Saturday. All right. And... To give you exactly what time it is, we will say, let's see here, let's do this a little better. We got uh, the month, the day, and the year at uh, our, there we go. Let's see what this looks like. June 4th, 2016 at 7.08 p.m. And that is exactly what time it is. So hopefully this introduces you into the Unix timestamp and working with dates and manipulating strings uh, that correspond with dates. So I'll see you guys next time. Stay creative.